What's going on guys? Today in this video we are making the spinach and ricotta calzone from Marley Spoon. Guys if you don't know what Marley Spoon is, it's a food delivery service that gives you all the ingredients you need and an easy to follow recipe to make some really delicious meals. I've been enjoying Marley Spoon a lot guys so if you're interested in trying it down in the description there should be a link that will give you a great deal and also help support the channel. As always guys, if you like this content, make sure you smash that like button, hit that sub button, and turn on notifications. That way you get notified when we do more recipes just like this. And with that said, let's get into the video. Okay guys, as always, the first thing we need to do is go over the ingredients. You'll need one garlic, three ounces of baby spinach, three quarters of an ounce of Parmesan cheese, four ounces of ricotta cheese, one pound of pizza dough, a quarter ounce of sesame seeds, 14 ounces of whole peeled tomatoes, and one heart of romaine lettuce. What's not included in the Marley Spoon kit is salt and pepper, white wine vinegar, and all-purpose flour. And that's everything you need to make this delicious dish. Now let's start cooking this recipe. Finely chop approximately two teaspoons of garlic. Heat one tablespoon of oil over medium high heat in a skillet. Add in half the garlic to the pan. Let the garlic cook for about 30 seconds. Add in the spinach and a pinch of salt. Cook until spinach wilts. Should be about two minutes. Stir occasionally. Once the spinach wilts, we're gonna take it off a little heat and let it cool. Once cooled, transfer it to a colander. And press out all the moisture. After pressing, put on the cutting board and finely chop. Once chopped, transfer spinach to the bowl. Take your Parmesan cheese and grate it. Once done grating, transfer two thirds of the cheese to the bowl. Add in the ricotta cheese. Add a pinch of salt and several grinds of pepper. And mix. Take a baking sheet and lightly oil it. Lightly flour surface. Stretch or roll dough into 10 inch circles. Then transfer dough to baking sheet. Spoon the filling onto one half of the circle. Leave about a half inch of a border. Brush the edges with water. Full dough over filling to create a half moon. 
Crimped edge with fork, tightly sealed. Cut three small vent holes on the top. Brush the top of the calzone lightly with water. Then sprinkle with sesame seeds. Bake on the center oven rack until the top and bottom are deeply gold and filling with bubbles. It should take about 10 to 17 minutes. Watch closely because oven time does vary. While the calzone cooks, add one tablespoon of oil to the skillet at medium high heat. Add the remaining chopped garlic to the skillet. Cook for about one minute or until it gets sprayed dry. Add tomatoes and juice and cook over medium high heat. Smash the tomatoes with a spoon until the sauce thickens. It'll take about five minutes. Season to taste with salt and pepper. Discard the ends. The romaine lettuce. Quarter the romaine lettuce lengthwise. Then cut cross sections into one inch pieces. In a large bowl, whisk to combine two tablespoons oil, one tablespoon of vinegar. Add the romaine lettuce to the bowl and toss to coat. Add the reserved cheese to the salad, then season to taste with salt and pepper. In about 15 minutes and I think the calzone's ready. We didn't seal it so well so it looks like it's popping open a little but we're gonna take it out and put it on the rack to cool. Once cooked, transfer calzone to wire rack to cool for about 10 minutes. This will allow the filling to firm up before it's Okay guys, now that everything is ready, we're ready to plate it up and this is probably one of the easiest platings we've ever done before because pretty much everything's all set to go. All you have to do is make sure your salad's in a big bowl, sauce is in a bowl to distribute out, and your calzone's on a cutting board ready to cut, cut up and distribute to others. This is going to be kind of like a community style plating so everyone could just take a little bit and put it on their own little individual plates but the food is kind of like a, a shared portion. And there you guys go, the spinach and ricotta calzone. Looks absolutely delicious. And there you go guys, that's how you make the spinach and ricotta calzone by Marley Zone. Guys, this was absolutely delicious. I would rate it an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, and that says a lot because I love meat and this is a completely meatless dish. So it was absolutely delicious. The salad was so-so, but the calzone was on point, delicious, would definitely have it again. As always guys, if you'd like to give Marley's Spoon a try, there's going to be a link down in the description that will give you a great deal and also so help support the channel. If you did like this content, make sure you smash that like button, hit that sub button and turn on notifications, that way you get more content just like this. And as always guys, if you did like this video, you'll probably like these videos right here as well. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.